uh, we're going to pick up where we left off last time. So believe it or not, last time we, we've been doing a lot of solving equations, solving specifically solving like two-step equations. So I want to look at some new problems with you and uh, and see, see where we're at, see what you remember, see what you don't remember, see where we can fill in any gaps, okay? Okay. All right, so here's our first problem to look at today. 10 equals x plus 5, x divided by 5 plus 2, x divided by 5 plus 2, okay? So okay. you look at the side with the variable. Which side has the variable, the left or the right? Ah, the left or the, uh, the variable uh, is at the uh, left. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I remember left being, that's, that's left. And this other direction is the right. So to me, the variable is on the, the left right. Is right. The left is right here. Like the left we're talking is about, at the We're talking about again. the equal sign though. The equal sign is what divides the equation. Okay. All right. So when you, on this side, what's the math operations that you see? What do you um, see here? Plus sign right there. Okay, so there's addition. Anything else? And there's division. Division. So which do you undo first, division or subtraction? We have to undo addition. Okay, so we're going to subtract two from both sides of the equation. 10 equals x divided by 5. Now, how do you undo addition? I'm not sorry, how do you undo division in that case? Okay. Do you understand my question? Yeah. All right. How do you undo division? You have to, you have to do multiplication. multiplication. Five times 10 is 50. That's right. You're going to multiply both sides by five. So X yeah. equals 50. 50. All right. Now, do you, do you have this example written down in your notes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow I don't believe you, Sarish. Yeah, I said, yeah, I was just yawning. Okay, well, I'm going to give you one just like it, and I'm not going to help. So do you have this written down in your notes? Yes. All right. So let me snip a new problem in for you to work on, just like the previous one. So here we go. Go ahead and uh, solve this for me, please. Okay, yeah. Okay. What I know is that it's it's 24. That is not correct. Okay. So what did you do first? First, first multiply it eight times three because you have to no, undo no, division no, that's, that's, and that's so, so there's here's the problem, Sarsh. You didn't write this example down. Okay. I don't know why, but you 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 continue to lie to me on, on our lessons. All right. 
if you had written this example down, you would have noticed that you undid addition first by subtracting. Okay, because what you just told me is that you multiplied first. Which yeah, is that's not what correct. we did in the, in the last one. No, we didn't, Sarish. We subtracted. You can first. see at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Yes, after you subtract. So I'm going to wait until you write this example down on a piece of paper, share your share your camera, and show me that you've written it down. Okay, okay, okay. We will not continue the lesson until you've done that. Okay. All right, looks yeah. like you've written down, let me get this, make this a little bigger so I can see. All right, good. So you wrote it down and I uh, appreciate that. All right, so you can go ahead and turn off your camera. I turned it off for you. All right, so let's okay. look at, let's look at this problem here, Sarish. On the side with the variable, so the left side of the equal sign has the variable, the left side. Yeah. And you always focus on whichever side has the variable. And you notice okay. again, there's there's division and there's addition. So which do you undo first? Mm. You have to undo, first of all, you have to undo division by multiplication. No, you undo addition and subtraction. Undo addition and subtraction before multiplication and division. You Just always like the undo- last problem? Just like in the last problem, you always undo addition and subtraction before multiplication. Okay. 
All right. Okay, so how are we going to undo addition by eight? What we need to do is that we need to undo division, uh, not division, but so multiple uh, addition to subtraction. We have to undo that by using minus eight to 25. That's right. Okay, so on the left, it becomes X divided by three equals what? What is 25 minus eight? X. Let's do, we're going to do this in steps. It's 25 yeah, minus yeah, 8. I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <sighs> 16. Try again. What? Try again. That means uh, your answer is not correct. 7. We had 7. Keen, 17. Yeah. Okay, now now you can undo division. How do you undo division? You have to multiply. By three. Mm -hmm. What is 17 times three? Is he what? Okay. All right, so I recommend that you write this one down in your notes. Yep. Let me know when you've got it down. Yeah, uh, I got it down. I got it down. I did. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at a new problem here. It's really similar. I'm going to help you work through it. Okay, okay. So here's your new problem to look at. 5 equals x divided by 11 minus 1. Now I want you to look at the side with the variable. The side with the variable, okay? What math operations do you see on the side with the variable? So what do you notice? What I notice is that uh, for that variable right there, you just, for that, for some, so you have to you have undo subtraction by adding. Okay, so there's there's subtraction. What else is there? What's the other math operation? What does this horizontal line mean? Yep, and you have to subtract one to five. Sarah, you got to answer my questions. What's the other math operation here? Division. Division. So you're right. You undo subtraction with addition. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you undo division? How do you undo division? How do you undo division? It's a multiplication. Okay. So you're going to multiply both sides by 11. What is six times 11? All right, six times 11, that is 66. All right, any uh, questions on that? Questions? I'm gonna give you one like this to try on your own. So that's why I'm asking. Nope. All right, okay. So here's all I want. I just want the final answer, okay? I want the final, final answer. So go ahead and take a look at that and let me know what you come up with. Mm
The answer is 55. Yes, X equals 55. Very good. All right. That's great, Sarish. That's that's what we expect. You know, we want to be able to work on problems like that and be able to knock them out. So I think that's fantastic. Um, let me go mm -hmm. ahead and uh, work through some other types of problems that you might see. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do that here. So let me... Um, Actually, let me have you do one more. One more, if you don't mind. One more. Again, I just want the final answer. You do this and we'll take a short break, okay? So give me the right answer, and then we'll just take a short break, to kind of reset, okay. and then uh, but uh, work this one out as best you can, please. Okay. Negative 28. Your answer is negative 28. Very good. All right. I would say you got this down. So what do you want to take here? A three-minute break, four-minute break? Um, uh, what? How much of a break do you want to take? Five-minute break. All right. I'll see you in five minutes. Yep. So 127. Okay.
All right, Sarish, let me know when you're back and we'll uh, we'll get started. Okay. Okay, so we're going to run a few more of these equations that uh, that you've been doing so well with. Um, we're going to do, they're very similar, but we're going to just take a look at them together here, uh, a few of them, to kind of get you comfortable with, uh, with the stuff. So let me snip in a few more problems here. Um, okay. I'm going to find one here. Find something a little bit better. Um, Interesting. All right. So here is here is a new problem for us to look at. And um, again, you you always go to the side with the variable. So the right side has the variable, right? Okay. On the right side, what are the two math operations? What is this this one that I'm what is this one that I'm referring to right here? That is a plus sign. Plus, so addition. Okay. And how about this this right here? Negative four n. Right. So when they're squeezed together, that's multiplication. Okay. So which do you undo first? Do you undo addition or do you undo multiplication? You undo addition to right. the fraction. So, so how are we going to undo this plus five? Subtract five. Subtract five from both sides. Okay. What is minus 15 minus five? Uh, negative 15 minus negative five. No, it, minus 15 minus five. Negative 20. Negative 20 equals negative 4m. So how do you undo multiplication by negative four? And division. Okay, you divide both sides by negative four. What mm -hmm. is negative 20 divided by negative four? Negative 20 divided by negative four, that is five. M equals five, good. Now I want you to write this down in your notes, please, because I'm gonna give you a problem very similar to this. Okay. All right, so you got it down. Let's look at one that's like this one. Hold on, hold on a minute. I need to, hold on, I need to write a little bit of it down. Okay.
Okay. Guy. All right. Okay, so here we go. Here's your problem to uh, to look at. Okay. So go ahead and try this one. And uh, The answer is three. Okay. N equals three. So you subtracted seven from both sides. Eight mm -hmm. N equals 24. Divide both sides by eight. And yes, N equals three. Very good. Any uh, any thoughts on that? Anything uh, else come to mind? Nope. All right. Well, let's look at a few more here. Uh, let's make them just a tiny bit more difficult. So here's a here's a new problem for us to uh, to look at. Okay, now we're going to look at the side with the variable. You always go to the side with the variable, which is the left side of the equal sign this time. Okay, so you have this plus eighteen. That's addition. Okay, and then this minus five times x. That's multiplication. The minus five is multiplying the x. It's not subtracting. Is that okay? Okay. Now, which do you undo first, addition or multiplication? Uh, addition. Addition. So you're going to subtract, subtract 18 from both sides of the equation. Okay. So this becomes minus 5x equals. Now, can you tell me what minus 42 minus 18 is? Minus 42 minus 18. Yeah, minus negative 42 minus 18. Mm -hmm. Negative 60. Negative 60. Excellent. Okay. Now, you're going to undo... You're going to undo multiplication by what operation? How do you undo multiplication? How do you undo multiplication? Division. How do you undo multiplication? Division. Yes. And that equals 12. Okay. All right. Any questions on that? Questions? Nope. All right. Um, let's 
Okay, so I'm going to give you one to try that's like this um, on your own. Any questions though for me before uh, before I do that? Nope, no questions. Okay. All right, it's really similar, just different numbers. All right, so I'll put this one in front of you. Twelve. Does equal twelve. Very good. Wow, that's great. That's really good, Sarish. I, yeah, uh, I know. I think that's good. Okay, we're gonna do a few more because um, you know, just want to get really comfortable with this. Um, probably next time we'll switch to a new topic here. All right, so new problem here. When you look at the side with the variable, like this, when you look at the side with the variable, okay. What what do you see here? Tell me what math operations you see. What I saw in there is there there's a, a the math operation and there's a subtraction. So you have to undo subtraction by addition. Okay. What number are you going to add? You have to add negative six to two. Okay. So we're going to clarify that yes, six is being subtracted because it's negative. This over here is multiplying x. It's minus two times x. So you need minus to like two. first of all, you need to subtract six to eight you have to add six to eight yeah yeah okay you undo subtraction with addition eight plus six is 14 equals minus two x like that yeah mm -hmm. all right now how do we undo the multiplication here how do we undo multiplication yes how do we undo multiplication? You should divide. And then that equals set negative seven. It does, yeah. Very good. Now you got that perfect. Okay, so here's a new problem for you to try. Let's go 18 equals uh, negative six minus eight. Right. So go ahead and try this one on your own and just give me the uh, final answer. Okay.
Negative three. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. You add six to both sides, you get 24 equals minus 8x. Divide both sides by minus 8. X equals minus 3. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Um, okay so in the time we've got remaining let me just let me just throw up some new questions that we haven't really looked at yet and um talk about how to do them what is the new SAT tutor's name what's the SAT tutor's name uh, her name is susan susan who uh she just goes by her first name for the lessons is, is it a girl it is a, it's it's a woman she teaches us english yes okay she teaches SAT, right? Yes. Mm, okay. All right. So let's just look at a couple of problems. We've only got a couple minutes left. So this is different. This is a different problem than before. Uh, you're going to multiply both sides by, by three. Okay. When you do that on the left, this cancels and you get V plus nine equals 24. All right. So can you tell me how to solve this from here? You have to divide. You have to like. First of all, you have to multiply. I don't see any division over here on the left. You have to subtract. You have to subtract because there's addition. So you subtract what? Twenty-four minus nine. Subtract nine from both sides. V equals what? I mean, let me hold on. Let me figure this out. Okay, let me figure this out. Okay. Fifteen. A equals fifteen. All right. Very good. Okay. So good job today, Sarish. We're going to go ahead and stop right there for today's lesson. Let me uh, stop the recording.